this is the microprocessor pH meter and uh, these are the prepared samples buffer solutions for 4 and 7 these are prepared from these capsules one of this capsule is inserted is dissolved in the 100 ml of distilled water for 4 pH and for 7 pH in 100 again in the 100 ml distilled water this capsule is dissolved and then 7 buffer is prepared so now uh, we are going to see how to use this microprocessor pH meter this is the pH electrode Make sure it is dipped uh, in the liquid. Place it in a beaker clear water. And now connect this BNC to the back side of this meter. Now we have this temperature prop. Connect this prop to the back side of the pH meter. Now switch on the pH meter. This is the on off switch. As you can see on the top right hand side, auto is displayed. This is displayed for this temperature property. Automatically, temperature will be. Now, uh, temperature is shown displayed on the screen that is 32.4 setting of the. The electrode is dipped in it. Now uh, we are able to see two options that is press enter or program. So first of all we are going to calibrate this microprocessor pH meter. For, for that we are going to press program. Now there is a cursor below the calibrate. One can move this cursor to calibrate from calibrate to memory, date and time and print. So uh, right now what we are going to do is we are going to do the calibration by you can see it, we can change it from increase and decrease. Now it is below the memory cursor, now it is below date and time, now print, now again calibrate. So now we are going to calibrate, so let's uh, set the cursor below calibrate and press enter. Now in calibrate we have three options, one is pH, another is MV and third is temperature. So for the pH calibration, press enter, you can see the cursor is below pH, you change the cursor, press increase and decrease. So now we are going to calibrate the pH as other two are already calibrated. So now press enter. Now you have two options. This pH meter is compatible for three point calibration also, but we are going to do two point calibration. So the cursor is below 2 point, one can change the cursor from 3 point to 2 point by increase and decrease, like this. So set to cursor to 2 point calibration and press enter. Now uh, 2 point calibration, for this calibration the menu shows buffer 1, buffer 2 and unkill. Unkill is to do to uh, uncalibrate, to uncalibrate the pH meter, but as this pH meter is calibrated, so we are again going to calibrate it. So insert this prop in this, and the pH electrode. Now. Buffer 1 is selected, press enter. Seven pH is shown and 
now the real time calibration the value of this is shown that is 7.08 wait for 30 to 50 seconds to get it stabilized and press now enter to calibrate now by increasing this select buffer 2 and now rinse the prop Place the prop in 4 pH. Now buffer 2 is selected, press enter. Again wait for some time. As the value is now stabilized, press enter. Now press escape as the pH meter is now calibrated. Now if we enter, press enter, now it is showing read. Earlier it was showing calibrate. So now Let's select pH. pH is already selected. Press enter. Again press enter. See uh, this solution was calibrated at 4. So when we read with this pH motor it is showing 4. And you, you see one more thing, there is a digit that 001, this is the memory location where you can store the data of your sample. So I uh, will show you how to do that. Now let us check for the 4 pH also, again wash this. So now you see this is 7 pH as it was the buffer solution it is calibrated earlier. So now we are going to rinse the electrode and put it into the sample. This is the sample one we are going to rinse. Now this is uh, the pH of this sample, this is how you can test the pH of the sample and over here this is the memory location where you can save the data by clicking the store button. So uh, as soon as it gets stabilized, give it uh, one while, wait for one minute. Now it seems to be stabilized, so we are going to press the store button. As soon as the store button is placed, it says saving reading, time, date, and now the reading is saved. So now let's see how to take other readings. I press escape. Now press enter to read. Now change the cursor to MV. And again press enter. Now again press enter. This is the millivolts of this sample. 
shown over here. Now uh, let's escape this. Now we we'll go, are going to read the temperature. Again press enter. Change the cursor to degrees centigrade. And now press enter. Now this shows the temperature of the sample. Press escape. Now if you want to read the data which is earlier stored, read the stored readings, press program, then go to memory, press enter. Now in memory you have two options, clear the memory and read the memory. So we are going to press the read. See it's showing us the value stored at location 1 is this. And earlier it showed the time also. Again, I am showing you how to read time and date and then the reading. Press escape. Thanks for watching the video.